Hello, so what am I making today? Peanut butter soup, it's a Sunday special. One of my children's absolute favorites. It also happens to be the favorite of a friend of mine. She is pregnant, expecting, and she absolutely loves this soup. So I'm making it again, but I'm taking a slight different approach. So I just thought maybe I should bring you on. So you can also pick a few pointers here and there. So let's start. First, I have actually washed the chicken really thoroughly. I butchered it first, cleaned it up, picked all those pin feathers off, and washed it with some lemon juice, scrubbed it thoroughly, and rinsed it several times so it is squeaky clean. I'm now going to cook the chicken, but you know, we cannot just cook the chicken without adding aromatics and seasoning. So I have some ginger here, garlic, and one large onion. If there is anything peanut butter soup loves, it's fragrance, it's aroma. So we want to make sure we're not skimping in that department. So here, I'm just going to cut up this onion into small chunks so they can fit in the blender. Now, ginger is very important in playing that role of supporting aromatic in making peanut butter soup. So I have quite a bit here, all right? I have about three thumb sizes. I'm going to take two thumb sizes and cut them across the strands and blend them with a chopped onion and the garlic, all right? We're going to use this slightly different, so we'll set that aside for now. Ginger, our chopped onion, and I have seven cloves of garlic, one habanero chili. I also have a tablespoon of chopped frozen flat leaf parsley. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of aniseed, which you can substitute with fennel seeds. Let's add a little bit of water, and that's enough. All right, time to season with some salt. We might not need any more seasoning after this point. You want to make sure all your salt goes in, most of your salt at least. We're going to also add our blend. All right, just a little bit of water. It smells so good. This soup is gonna make some people very happy. <laughs> Time to cook. We're going to bring the chicken to a boil. It'll take about 20 minutes. What we want is the marinade and the seasoning to seep into the meat and the bone of the chicken. I think 20 minutes will do it. It's going to fill the whole house with this lovely aroma. My children are still asleep, but it's gonna wake them up, I promise. So our hen has been cooking for the past 35 minutes and I have removed it from the broth. I'm letting it drain a little bit in this colander because the next step is to fry it. Yes, we're frying the chicken and then we'll continue making the soup. Frying it will bring our soup more flavor today. This is another way of making your peanut butter soup. Now this broth here, I'm going to put in some vegetables and here are the vegetables I'm referencing, which will become a thickener and also a fragrance for our soup. Just removing the seeds out of the green and red bell pepper. The heads off of these Fresno chilies, which you can substitute with your habaneros or your scotch bonnets. 
Perfect. Now this onion I will leave whole. Cover so that we can tenderize these vegetables much sooner. Next step, we're going to fry these chicken pieces in some cooking oil. You know, frying will bring more flavor, so why not? I've had peanut butter soup made this way several times before, and let me tell you, it packs even more flavor than usual. While we're waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm gonna work on the peanut butter. This is roasted peanut butter. We're going to dissolve it in some water, but we're going to use the blending route, okay? So I'm gonna pour that in here. It is so dense, which is great, because that's gonna give us more volume. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. All right, now our vegetables are softened enough. We're going to add them straight into the blender to blend with the peanut butter and the tomato paste. All right, obviously we need to wash this blender, right? Because this should not be wasted. It will be illegal to do that. A little more water, because we want the consistency to be as thin as possible. All right, that's good, right there. We're gonna let that simmer down and we'll be introducing the fried chicken pretty soon. We have the heat on medium. All our chicken fried perfectly are now in the soup. We're going to let it simmer down really gently on low or gentle heat for the next one hour. By which time the oil will start resurfacing and we'll be ready to serve at that time. It smells amazing and it's seasoned well. I just tasted it. And the salt is perfect. So we'll just leave it to do its thing. Peanut butter soup loves nothing better than fragrance from onion and especially ginger. So I'm going to be adding a little more onion and also ginger. I will be caramelizing the entire bulb of onion and then half of this ginger and just slicing them across the strands, leaving half of the ginger aside because I want that to remain fresh. And back into the oil, I fry the chicken. I will fry the onion and the rest of the ginger until caramelized. And then I'll grind it with the fresh ginger. So I'm going to go ahead and grind that fresh ginger and this will be a finishing touch for our peanut butter soup. Let me tell you, this is a complete vibe. 
it's a complete vibe i think i've done this before in a previous video and if you're not already doing this you must you will love it your eaters will notice that delightful finish and it will get them asking questions what did she do to this soup it tastes way better than the previous peanut butter soup i had trust and believe this is like a secret approach to making special peanut butter soup for your sundays or any day of the week so yeah there it goes into the soup and we'll just make sure everything is dissolved into the soup and we're almost done here We're down to the wire, friends. We've been cooking about 45 minutes or so since adding everything to the soup. So it's pretty much cooked, but we had to go in and add our finishing touch, which we just did, which was the blend of the caramelized onions and the ginger, as well as the fresh ginger. We're going to cook a further maybe 15 minutes and the soup will be ready to be devoured. <laughs> Our soup is done. Yes. How do we know that? See all this oil? That's one indication. Also, we've been cooking for a total of an hour and almost 50 minutes. It takes about that long for your peanut butter soup to be cooked completely through and for it to be edible. And you see the color on the chicken. Not only does it have this beautiful color, it is also very tasty, as tasty as it looks, because we fried it. And this is a good consistency. You can have this with rice, boiled yams, you can have it on its own, over a bitier or face the wall or cocunte. You can have it with fufu, you can have it with ebba, pounded yam, you just name it. You can have it with steamed vegetables as well if you want to go the healthy route. Absolutely delicious soup. So today I made omotu, omotu or rice balls. Just jasmine rice cooked mushy, so cooked with more water than usual, maybe three times the amount of water you would use to cook rice into a fluffy state and mashed into balls and served the soup over it. This bowl of rice balls and soup is for my pregnant family friend. She loved it. The taste of that soup is a total vibe. It is a conversation starter because they will taste, like I said, here she goes. <laughs> yes, she's about to devour it. And her husband was also over, and he had it over fufu. Yeah, plantain fufu. And let me tell you, they loved it. They loved it, and they definitely noticed that finishing touch. They said, Sister Madame, you've got something special in here. We can taste it. I said, are you kidding me? Of course I do, because you totally deserve it. It's called a pinch of love. <laughs> A pinch of love, some caramelized onion and ginger and fresh ginger as a finishing touch. The proper aha moment, indeed. They enjoyed every single bite of it or every single swallow, if I may say. Yes, yeah, so friends, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two and are inspired to try the recipe. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anava's Kitchen, chop time is always yes, friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>